beauty, the feel for people who love working with people. Call now, New York, 265-6500, New Jersey, 863-0400. To a beautiful future at Wilfred Academy. Good evening, here's the news. Good evening, here's the news. Today, television seems to be producing newscasters who all look and sound the same. But one news team has never lost its personal touch. Gee, you look kind of nice tonight. I do? Yeah, who dressed you? Funny. Because on Eyewitness News, we're as different as the city we report to. And Raj, please, don't forget to smile tonight. I am smiling. The People's Court today at 4.30. I told you how beautiful you look in that dress. Yes. Have huh? I? I told you how beautiful you look out of that dress. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, look at you. This is that pretty. Thank you. And may I say you both look very chic? Oh, you may. Thank you very much. I'm going to pick up Preacher now. Ah, faces fall, instant gloom. No, no, I'm a physician, remember? I'm trained to maintain an expression of calm and goodwill at all mm -hmm. times. Well, I'll see you at the wedding. Wait, 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 what? Before you go, take our picture. Oh, no, yes, no. yes, yes. That's a great idea. Mom has a look at yes. our wedding. Come here. Over there, come on. I don't mind. Yes, you love it. You're a hammer. <laughs> didn't answer my letter. I've been busy. Oh, come on, Johnny. It's been a long time. Aren't you going to invite me in? Oh, no. Take a hike. Come on, now. I've had the door slammed on my face a lot of times over these years, but never by one of my own. For the first time for everything. That's no way to talk to you, old man. Come to see you after all these years. After all these years? I need your help, Johnny. Don't call me Johnny. Don't call me that. Well, it, it, it's your own christened name. It's the name your poor departed mama gave you. Johnny's history. Who's taking his place? What do folks call you when supper's on the table? They don't. I cook my own. People around here call me Preacher. It's a nickname. It's sort of stuck from the old days, you know? <laughs> preacher? <laughs> well, isn't that something, though? You want to come in for a minute, it's all right, but I'm expecting somebody. I, uh, I didn't figure these were your, your laying around the house clothes. What is it, a wedding or a funeral? Why didn't you answer my letter, son? I told you. Look, I am in trouble. I need your help. Trouble. That's all you ever were to me, dragging me around from town to town like a bag of dirty laundry. One step ahead of those sweaty ladies to spend their husband's money, and you're one step behind the eight ball. Well, look, this is a $300 suit. It's bought and paid for, huh? And I'm the only one that ever wore it, too, huh? <laughs> I'm not behind any eight ball. I've come up in the world. I'm somebody. Well, you do look more duded up than any I've ever seen you, but your cuffs look a little frayed. <sighs> well... What are you staring at? Look, I'm your flesh and blood daddy come home to see you. You look like you didn't even recognize me or something. And you got old. Yeah. Yeah, I got old. It's my lungs. Three years of prison air. Three years of breathing that steam and that stinking prison laundry. I got old and tired. And I got a lot of trouble, too. It's all you ever were, you know. Seven years I've been free from your kind of trouble. Now all of a sudden you're gonna bring it around to me again? Huh?
Edge of Night is brought to you by new Duncan Hines Deluxe. Rises to new heights of moistness. And by new Lemon Bright Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean leaves no wax floors so clean they shine. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, Jimmy, don't. The floor's wet. No, it's dry. I washed it hours ago. What? Oh, you're kidding. Wow, that shine made me think it was wet. Using something new for your no wax floor? Yep. New Lemon Bright Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean is new. Sure is. It's a whole new Mr. Clean. New lemon bright color, new fragrance. Mm, terrific. Really lemony. And a new brightening formula that's even better than before. I'll say. It really shines. And no dull film or streaks. Even Armstrong approves it for my no wax solarium floor. With a shine like this, I approve too. <laughs> new lemon bright Mr. Clean brings out a no wax shine so bright, you may wonder, is it wet or is it dry? No, it's dry. Bye-bye, good old pie. Duncan Hines cake rises so New Duncan high. Hines rises to new heights of moistness. This is the day of new taste. Deluxious. This is the day of new moistness. New Deluxe Yellow rises above the rest. Mmm, moisture. A super creamy batter for higher moistness. Amazing moistness. New heights of moistness. Now America's rising to a new taste. Moist. Rising high to a new taste. Mm. High rising. Moisture. New Moistness. Duncan Hines Deluxe. Mmm. Deluxe. Bye-bye, good old pie. Duncan Hines cake rises so high. Rises to new heights of moistness. Duncan Hines Deluxe. Deluxe it. Chief. Kellen, come on in. Look, I just came by to tell you we are not having any luck tracing the mysterious Del Everett. I even questioned Vinefra, but if he knows anything, he's not. Talking. Well, right now, Everett's just a loose end. I would like to tie him off, though. Yeah, so would I. You know, he talked his way past Chris and I just like... I don't know, like he was born to it. Professional comment? Could be. Huh. Anyway, we better get out of here. I gotta pick a beady on the way. You know, my social life these days seems to consist solely of attending Raven's weddings. I hope she gets married more often. I like going at it. <laughs> That's it anyway for Sky Whitney's best man to talk. You're right, you're right, it's not. What you got there? Whoa, very, very nice. Come on, it wouldn't do for the best man to be late either. I gotta get this no, tie tied. Uh, you go, I'll meet you at the wedding. Okay. Hello. Man, I don't want to hear about the kind of trouble you're in. Look, you wouldn't desert your old man in his time of need, would you? Oh, no, no. What about that night in Topeka, Kansas, when I spent the night in jail? Remember when you were out with the councilman's wife doing up the town? No, look, we, we, we made out fine in that land deal. I'm not talking about the money. I don't care about the money. I came here to build a life for myself, and it's hard enough as it is without you coming along and complicating things. Look, Johnny, please. Don't call me Johnny! And I mean it! You really, you really think that you can take me on now? You're man enough to do that now, don't you? And you must be kidding. Look at you. Boy, you got hard. You changed, John. Yeah, well, maybe I have. And maybe I had to. And maybe I got it from you. And I'm going to tell you for the last time, I want you out of here. Man, to leave! Move! Get out! All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. Get I'm out of here! Maybe I made a mistake. Because you're no son of mine, preacher man. No son... You would never treat me like that. Never, never, never. Hi. Yeah, I'm glad to see you, too. Hey, maybe we should, like, call this whole thing off, because, um, I'm not, you know... Why? I'm not having a good time. I'm like a penguin in this outfit, but... No, you don't. You, you look... You look outstanding. Really. I'm glad you got some good taste. That dress is really something else. You really like it? Yeah, I bet it's, you know, soft as it looks. Second, okay. What would they say if we were a little late for the festivities? 
Nothing, because we're not going to be. Listen, I can take a hint, all right? I'm sorry. And you can only play this hard to get game so long. And then sooner or later, you and me are going to get down to some serious, serious lovemaking. Um, I think that we better go now. You better just remember I said that. It's going to be hard to forget. Uh, uh, look, 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 Prentiss, I'm sorry to have to do this to you, but I'm late for a wedding. No, if it were my own, I would have hung up long before this. Chief Mallory. Detective Egan, I can't talk Hans, now. Sir. What about him? He's just been pulled from the Monticello River, stabbed. He's not dead, is he? No, he's unconscious, barely hanging on. Well, Scott, oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting us. Oh, uh, pleasure having you. Uh, Calvin, have you seen Derek? As a matter of fact, I got a phone call just as we were leaving the office. It may detain him, but I don't think it'll be long. Oh, oh, well, that, that must be an unsurely long interview. That, perhaps that's him now. If you'll excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Boy, is he ever nervous. Oh, I don't remember who he's marrying. Uh, oh. Hi, Scott. Congratulations. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you could come, Joe. Yeah, me too. Uh, may I present Preacher Emerson, Skylar Whitney? Preacher, uh, uh, well, I, I don't know. I, I have a minister here. His name is uh, Reverend Hamish. Uh, no, no, Scottish no, no, no. Or Mr. Something. Whitney. It's like a nickname, like Scooter or a Hound Dog. You know what I mean? Hound Dog. I see. Yeah, I'll take him inside now. <laughs> Hey, how are you? You look great. Oh, thank you. Gorgeous. You smell the fuzz, and I don't even see no tennis balls. Well, preacher, you are managing to behave yourself. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Police Officer. Glad to hear. You see, but being the criminal type that I am, it's real hard to stay out of trouble, but I am doing the best I can. You know something? I hope they don't have any real silverware here, because I might just start to help myself. Yeah, later. Bye, later. Yeah. Mm. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Whitney. Uh, uh, Reverend Hamish, yes. Are you about ready to begin? Uh, well, no, uh, not, 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 not quite yet. You see, I'm not ready to uh, face my bride-to-be without a, a wedding band. See, my best man is late. Oh. oh. When Gemini 4 first launched men into space, Tang Instant Breakfast Drink went with them. Since then, people everywhere Morning. have launched the day with Tang. Because nothing fuels up your family like a nutritious breakfast in Tang. Tang has a fresh orange taste, a full day's supply of vitamin C in every glass. And it costs about one-third less than orange juice. From Gemini to Columbia to Earth families. Great mornings have taken off with Tang. Launch your day with the goodness of Tang. Terrific chicken and rice. Terrific chicken and rice. Terrific chicken and... Where's the rice? Not so terrific, Mrs. Lamont. It came out wrong and took 25 minutes. You should have used minute rice for perfect rice every time in five minutes. Minute rice always turns out right. So light and fluffy and delicious. Perfect every time. Now your dish is going to be perfect in five minutes. Minute rice. Perfect rice in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get there. The ceremony's gonna be over. Oh well, listen, it's scheduled for three o'clock. They won't start till three thirty. <laughs> oh no, please let it ring. Uh, no, I can't do that. I should have married a librarian. Hello. Miles, it's Derek. Derek, what's wrong? Look, I'm calling you from the hospital. There's been a murder attempt and a key witness of mine. The man's barely alive now. Could you come down to the hospital? I'm on my way. Thanks. Oh. Make my apologies. Yes, of course. When does the uh, curtain go up on all this? Soon. Very soon. Mm. Would you excuse me? Where, where, where are you going? Uh, just to say hello to somebody. Hi. Hi, Jody. You look beautiful. Thank you. You still seeing him? Uh, yeah. Gavin, I don't mean to hurt you. I can handle it. You know, uh, we should really sit down and talk soon. Sure. Great. Will you call me? Will you be home? 
call me. How's things with uh, little Gavin? Preacher, let it go. Oh. Mike, Nancy, uh, could have you come? Sorry, we're late, Scott. Late? Oh, no, no, not, not, not at all, not at all. We're, we're, we're savoring every moment. Oh, you make a handsome groom. Oh, thank you. I, I hope that I will. I beg your pardon. Uh, you haven't seen our uh, chief of police out playing hopscotch in my driveway by any chance? No. Should we have? Uh, uh, see, he's late, and no one knows uh, <clears throat> where he is. Oh, uh, if you'll excuse me for just a moment. Yes, yeah, sure, of course. Yes, sir. Mr. I would be, too. I remember our own wedding. I was petrified to be standing in front of all those people. How do you do that all the time? It's not the same thing, and you know it. I don't know what it is, but weddings always seem to make me jittery. <laughs> Mr. Whitney, we really must begin. I, I... What would you have me do? I mean, I, I, I don't have my best man. I don't have a wedding ring. What would you do? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, postpone the ceremony, perhaps. Uh, no, I, I can't do that. Why not? My lovely bride to be would murder me. Yeah, I. Dear me. What time is it? It's past time. <sighs> well, I'm ready. Let's go. Why aren't we starting? My dear, I don't know. I wish I did. All I know is I have waited a long, long time for this moment. And I'm going to let nothing, nothing spoil it for me. Now, Raven, get that look out of your eye. What look? That look. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing wrong, some slight delay. Undoubtedly, we'll get started any minute. Oh, it's going to be a lovely ceremony. Beauteous bride. Handsome bridegroom. <clears throat> yes, well, uh, perhaps I'd better go downstairs and uh, see Scarlett for a minute. Good idea. I'll hurry right back. Run! <laughs> We have a party. You'll find me dancing, and you'll find new little eating. There's some mighty good Crisco cooks around here, and they all try to outdo each other. So they're always coming up with some great new Crisco recipes, like crispy potato puffs. Don't taste greasy. And peach tart, leggy crust. Oh, boy, Annie, those look good. They're shrimp croquettes. Oh, well, how'd you make them? Well, first you chop up your shrimp. Uh -huh. Add flour, milk, onions, and spices. Then you mold them and deep fry in Crisco until they're golden brown and crispy. Then you top them with this cream sauce. That's good cooking, Ma. Why don't you get the recipe? I will if you get up there and dance. Look for other great Crisco recipes right here in Crisco's new cookbook. The tales are on every can. How old am I? I'm 25. So am I. One of these swimmers is not 25, <laughs> but 34. She's Mary Lou Kenworthy, mother of two. Can you pick her out? They both look so young. But let's see their hands. They look young, too. My hands need as much care as the rest of me, so they deserve ivory liquid for dishes. The name ivory has always meant mildness to me, and I trust it to treat my hands gently. The rich, mild suds help my hands stay young-looking even with all the dishes I do. Still can't tell who's 34? <laughs> Me. Well, you sure look young. Swimming helps. What helps your hands look so young? My hands? Oh, ivory liquid. The mildness helps a lot. I'd never use anything else. Mild ivory liquid helps hands look young. Oh, Miles, thank you. Where's the patient? Intensive care. What can you tell me? He was stabbed in the chest and apparently thrown into the river. The intern in the emergency room says it's pretty bad. Miles, I need this witness. See what I can do. Uh, Mr. Whitney, sir? Oh, what is it? Uh, did Derek call? Uh, no, I, I hate to bother you at a moment like this, sir. What is it? Well, I need to talk with you uh, privately. And... <laughs> you, you must be joking. Uh, no, sir, sir, I'm very serious. Not now, Gunther. Scarlet. Mm -hmm. What's the delay? Your bride, made up to me, is getting restless. Restless? Oh, she and I both. Why haven't we begun? Uh, our best man is here, and no one seems to know where he is. Now listen to me, my dear. For the first time in her life, Raven is on time. So I think it would be prudent of you to gather your rosebuds while ye may. What am I supposed to do, Geraldine? I can't have a wedding without a best man, without a ring. Uh, Sky, uh, Gunther has just told me that the ceremony's been delayed. Yes, that's right. We're missing a best man. Uh, who is that? Derek Mallory. Oh, no. What is it, my dear? 
Well, he just called the penthouse and told Miles that there's been an emergency at the hospital what? and they're both there what? now. What? In the hospital? In the hospital? How am I supposed to have a wedding on My best man is in the hospital. I don't have any ring. Uh, just a moment now. Uh, <laughs> here, take mine. What? Uh, the show must go on. You can make amends with Raven later. Darryl, I, I can't take your ring. Here. Consider the alternatives. Geraldine, your name. What have you got? Well, it looks like Pond was lured down to the riverbank and then stabbed there. Weapon? No trace. And the ground's so hard, we can't take a clear footprint. Did you find anything, anything at all? I'm telling you, Chief. No. We searched the entire area on hands and knees. Oh, yeah, we found a couple of beer bottles and an old inner tube. We'll take prints, but I'm sure Ponder is a sailor and didn't leave them there. It's all right, it's all right. Take it easy. I'm sure you were thorough. All right, let's, let's look at this from a different angle. Any chance that maybe this is just coincidence? Has nothing to do with the Vanepra case? Not a chance. Okay, I agree with you. All right. But Vanepra and his bodyguard are both under lock and key, so where's it going to leave us? Where's that leave us? Hoping EJ pulls through so he can at least identify his attacker. Um, <laughs> Reverend, the, the ceremony will still be valid, uh, even though this isn't the real wedding ring. It, it's a substitute. Of course it is. No, 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 no worry there. No, I've married more than one couple whose wedding band was on order and hadn't arrived yet. No, no. The wedding ring itself is a symbol only. The ceremony is still valid, still binding. Now, it may not be as romantic, but any ring would do. Well, uh, actually, romance isn't my main concern now. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, and uh, don't be surprised if you see that I have a different best man from before. Young man, I'm getting to the point where nothing would surprise me. <laughs> well, don't, don't worry, Rev. Uh, this, this, this baby's going to fly it. Going to fly Oh, um, Mike, uh, I need to ask you a favor. Certainly, Sky. What's wrong? Well, Derek has been called away on uh, business, and uh, I'd like for you to be my best man. Well, actually, as I was telling Nancy, weddings are really not my Mike, best suit. Please. Well, honey, the grand, it'll be fine. Well, if you don't have the right uh, best man, what about the ring? I haven't got it. It's Geraldine. Of course. I'll do it. Thank you. It's going to be fine. I hope so. Excuse me. Come here. Mike is ready. Mike uh, is ready. Well, are you ready? Well, as ready as I'm ever going to be. Okay. Uh, now, I want you to run upstairs and fetch Geraldine and Raven. Bring them down. Right. Right away. gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses the joined together with man and this woman in holy matrimony. New and improved Handy Wrap 2 introduces Cling Plus. Oh, you ain't got a thing if you ain't got that cling to wrap, to wrap, to wrap. Oh, you ain't got a thing if you ain't got that cling. Handy Wrap 2 with Cling Plus has twice as much cling as before, so it seals tighter to seal in freshness and flavor longer. Oh, you ain't got a thing. You ain't got that cling. New and improved Handy Wrap 2, it's a must to have that Cling Plus. The best way to tell you what NutraSweet is, is to tell you what it isn't. NutraSweet isn't fattening. It isn't bad for your teeth. It isn't artificial like saccharin. And... It isn't for sale. Instead, NutraSweet is an ingredient. A new sweetening ingredient in products like these and in dozens more soon on their way. Best of all, 
the taste of NutraSweet is just like sugar. <sighs> On General Hospital. That's my daughter. I gotta catch the first plane in New York. A romantic dinner is interrupted. Where there's a daughter, there's gotta be a wife. General Hospital, weekdays. We had everything tied up tight. It was just that one single loose end. Del Everett. Pon said he didn't know him, and I was certain he was telling the truth, but... Yet there was Everett, right in the warehouse at the time of the raid. The story sounded straight. That's what Stoner said, too. I'm not blaming either one of you, but... Look, if it wasn't for your encounter with him, uh, I've got no proof that this man even exists. It's, it's like he conjured himself up out of the mist just for that one moment, and then he evaporated again. Look, this man has to be our prime suspect. There is no one else. I agree. Miles. I'm sorry. We did everything we could. He's dead? Yeah, look, he'd been in the river all night long. The stab wound was dangerously close to his heart. Loss of blood, coupled with exposure. It's a wonder he lasted as long as he did. Did he say anything before he died? No, no. Didn't no. even regain consciousness. Great. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. I think I knew that this was a long shot in the beginning. The guy was that important to you? He was my whole case, practically. All right, here it is. I don't care if this a man's a ghost or if it's just a, a figment of our imagination. But I want Everett found. Now! These roll-on antiperspirants are more or less alike, except for Tussie. Tussie has one of the most effective ingredients to help stop wetness, but so do all the others. Tussie has one of the most reliable ingredients to help stop odor, but so do all the others. Tussie has everything you need to help stop wetness and odor. So what makes Tussie different? Simple. Tussie's everyday price is a lot less than all the others. Tussie antiperspirants and deodorants. The low price is the big difference. I do one thing, do, 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 do. Do one thing for as long as I have, you get to be the best. Like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Ooh, they do the whole, they do one thing. Great chicken. They cook it up hot and tender like my music. I sing scat, they do that. Like nobody else, right? Kentucky Fried Chicken. They do chicken. Tonight, Flip's night out with the boys results in an injury to Heather and a sobering confrontation with the Fonz on Happy Days. Then the Cunninghams panic when they think Joni's living with Chachi and order her to return home in a hilarious mix-up on Joni Loves Chachi. Ted Koppel. More topics, more news, more interviews, more Koppel. And more of what Nightline does best, bringing people together who are worlds apart. ABC News Nightline, weeknights after your late local news.